Hello and welcome to Catalyze Music Academy. My name is Zach Crusader. I'm an Ableton certified trainer. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about MIDI overdubbing, which essentially allows you to record one layer of MIDI and then record more MIDI on top of it without it overriding and deleting the MIDI that's already there. Now there are two different ways to do this, whether you are in the session view or in the arrangement view. So we're going to go over both real quick because there's slightly different buttons you need to hit in order to make this work. Before we dive into that, I do want to let you know if you are enjoying the content on the channel, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. It is greatly appreciated. So diving into it, uh, we just have a little piano MIDI track right here. Sounds like this, just got some basic chords going on. So I want to take this and I want to record on top of it. So the first thing you might try if you're trying to do this is while this is playing, my track is record enabled. And so if I play new notes on top of it, it played that sound, but it didn't record any of that extra MIDI that I was playing there. So if I would like to do the overdub in the session view, I need to hit this button right here. This is your session record button. When this is turned on, when you send MIDI to a track, it will then record that MIDI on the currently playing clip. So two things really need to happen. Session record needs to be turned on, and then your track obviously needs to be record enabled so you can send MIDI there. If those two are on, check out what happens when I hit play. I now have a red play sign, which basically means that that means it's recording. So if that is red, that means you are good to do your overdubbing. So I'm gonna hit this button here. I'm going to hit play, and now if I try playing on top of these chords, it will record my new notes on top of what's already there. And boom, there is my performance right there. And now I can go in and I can edit it, I can do that stuff. Um, sometimes I'll record like this and maybe separate it to another track later on, but it's up to you. But if you are somebody who likes recording a lot of MIDI from your MIDI controller and want to keep everything in one place, this is how you're going to do that. So that's how you do it in the session view. Then we're going to take this clip right here, we're going to copy it, and we are going to paste it over to the arrangement view. And we're going to delete all of these notes out of here. And we're going to try doing the exact same thing, but this time in the arrangement view. So now if I hit play, and my track is record enabled, if I try playing stuff, Same thing, it received the MIDI signal because my track was record armed, but it didn't record any of it. So if I would like to record here, the first thing you might try is by hitting the arrangement record button here. When this is turned on, anything you do will be recorded to any track that is record enabled in the arrangement view. And if I hit play right now, check out what happens. It is allowing me to record MIDI notes, new MIDI notes, but is deleting the old MIDI notes that are already there, which is not what I want. So I'm going to Command Z to undo that. And instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this button first, this little plus button. This is your MIDI overdub button for the arrangement view. When this is turned on, and you can leave it on if this is something you do all the time, uh, now if I hit record, it's going to record onto this track, but leave the notes that are already there. So now if I hit this, There is my original notes with the new recording on top of it all in one place. So that's it. That's kind of the idea here. If you are somebody who likes to do overdubbing and you are not used to doing this, uh, it can be a little tricky to remember which buttons you need to hit. But if you are in the arrangement view, MIDI overdub button needs to be turned on, arrangement needs to be record enabled, and obviously your track needs to be record enabled. If you are in the session view, all you really need to do is make sure the session record button is turned on and your track is record enabled. Once you do that, you should be able to just you know, perform on top of clips that are already there and to start layering up your MIDI if that is how you would like to write your content. Uh, this is especially useful for things like drums. If you are playing drums, instead of having to play like kick, snare, and hi-hat all at the same time, you could do kick and snare first and then layer on your hi-hats later on all by hand. And it makes it really nice, adds a lot of nice humanization to your performances when you are recording from your MIDI controller. So that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed watching that. And uh, if you did, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear uh, if this is something that is useful for you. And I will see you guys again in another video.
Thanks for watching.